Number again is 1-800-565-9562. You know, we were telling you about the man that police in Oklahoma tased when his truck spun off of the road. Turns out he was in a severe diabetic shock. In fact, his blood sugar was so low that he couldn't process the officer's commands. Uh, it's unfortunately the officer's aspect, and they felt extremely bad uh, after they learned that, that in fact, it was a, a medical need and not, not someone who was under the influence of, of an intoxicant, drug, or alcohol. Well, once police realized what was going on, they called an ambulance. The man's medical alert necklace was under layers of clothing. Today's hot viral video, a rabbit fight. I said a rabbit fight broken up by a pair of chickens. A rabbit fight broken up by some brave chickens. And then it was almost like they had a stare down. Don't you mess with me. I told you to stop it right now. Don't you make me stop this chicken coop. More than 2.8 million people have watched this on YouTube. Well, now you know who to call the next time there's trouble. Oh, the chickens. Our friends at News to Me dug it up. <laughs> News to Me showcases the best uh, eye reports from you and crazy viral videos like that one. Find here on the weekend. You know, we could see the factory sit in in Chicago come to an end today. Representatives for the laid off workers, the company, and Bank of America will meet. The workers say that they only got three days' notice after Bank of America cut off credit to the company. By law, though, they are required to get 60 days' notice or 60 days' pay. We all agreed we're all going to have the people in that room one wonderful Christmas. And we wanted to make sure that the families, the children, the men and the women at Republic are also going to have a joyous and prosperous Christmas. Well, the workers have been protesting in shifts around the clock since Friday. They call their sit-in a peaceful occupation. Four home loan execs will be on the hot seat in Washington today as the House Oversight Committee examines the Fannie Mae and the Freddie Mac collapse. And our money expert, Jennifer Westhoven, has those details. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Robin. I'm trying so hard to shrink the story down because it's a huge story, but it's one that costs taxpayers potentially billions. You know, what the heck happened here? And it's something that, you know, not just hurt you to the tune of how much taxpayers had to pay, but this has been a big part of what's going on in the housing market. Why does the housing market collapse? Well, these two mortgage giants used to be Fannie and Freddie only backed the safest loans, 30-year fixed rate loans, 20% down payment. Then they saw Wall Street doing what Wall Street was doing, and they thought, hmm, got into this business of riskier loans, slicing and dicing them, selling them around the world, securitization, it's called. Then when warnings came, and some of the warnings came from Republicans, the Bush administration, to rein these companies in, they went out and hired big-name lobbyists, so they wouldn't have any new rules on them. A lot of the lobbyists were Republicans. But what happens when you get into these hearings you know, are they really, are your lawmakers really looking for authentic answers? Are they really looking for the root? Or are they just finger pointing? Because a lot of times it seems like, call me cynical, they already have their minds made up. So you have a lot of blame going on here. I was just talking about Republicans, but plenty of people talk about how the Clinton administration was constantly pushing these companies to get more Americans into the American dream of home ownership. That sounds lofty. Sounds great, except for that a lot of people were getting into homes that maybe really that was not a good investment. It was not responsible for them to be in those kinds of loans. So there's a lot of blame going on on each side. Each side also has a good argument for why they're not to blame. You know, the trouble is, are you really getting any truth out of these hearings, or are you just hearing some of this opinionated grandstanding? Merrill Lynch's CEO, John Thane, apparently rethinking that request for a $10 million bonus payment. This is a story we talked about yesterday, and so many of you wrote in to say, how could this guy ask for this bonus of up to $10 million? One out of five Merrill Lynch workers is looking at losing their job coming soon. Well, it appears the CEO had a change of heart after he was blasted in some of the news reports, but also by New York Attorney General Andrew Cuomo. He called that request nothing less than shocking. The company lost more than $11 billion so far this year. And his argument was that they would have lost more had it not been for him. Yeah. Basically. Uh, but, um, you know, meanwhile, all the other CEOs are saying, look, we know that things are awful. People all around us 
are losing their jobs. I'm lucky to have mine and keep running this firm. Yeah, people are taking bonus. a dollar for a salary. Former NFL star Mike Vick sure t tried to live it up right before he went to jail. What he did with more than three and a half million dollars before he was locked up. I am alone. At Ditech, we're big on transparency. So if your arm is about to adjust, we'll give you clear solutions and an approval decision in minutes. Bring your home finances into focus. Refinance your arm into our low fixed rate of 5 and 3 eighths percent. Call 1 800 Ditech 1 today. Activon for joint pain, muscle pain, arthritis, and backache. Activon, ultra strength pain relief and a convenient applicator, no messy creams or gels. Activon, apply directly where it hurts for joint pain, muscle pain, arthritis, and backache. Activon, powerful pain relief. For two days only, get free holiday bonus cards at Joseph A. Bank. Start with cotton sweaters and twill pants, $29. Then get an extra $25 off with a purchase of $150 or more. Plus, buy more for bigger bonuses. Get an extra $50, $100, even an extra $200 off at Joseph A. Bank. Monday and Tuesday only. From the first Aquos LCD to the world's largest, Sharp has shaped the future of LCD technology in the Aquos Limited Edition Series. With a design so thin, a contrast ratio of over 1 million to 1, and a picture so realistic, it will change the way you watch TV. The Aquos Limited Edition Series, part of Sharp's line of 120 hertz LCD TVs. Change your TV. Change your life. Sharp. Go beyond the image. Get the controversy. Showbiz Tonight, headline news this morning, 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific. Nancy Grace states her case every night. I've got the indictment right here. It's as thick as a magazine. Witness Nancy Grace every night, 8 and 10 Eastern on Headline News. Congress is closing in on a deal that would give the auto industry $15 billion in loans. The bill could come to a vote tomorrow. Now, in return for the money, the president would appoint a government car chief to oversee restructuring the industry. The Supreme Court has rejected a lawsuit claiming that President-elect Barack Obama is not a natural-born U.S. citizen. A retired lawyer from New Jersey argued that Obama had dual British American citizenship at birth, making him ineligible to run for president. Obama was born in Hawaii. Will the actress best known as the nanny replace Hillary Clinton in the Senate? Fran Drescher's spokesperson released a statement saying that she is serious about throwing her hat in the ring. Drescher is no stranger to Washington. She's been an activist for women's health issues. How about that? 46 minutes um, after the hour. Good morning, sunshine. I'm Robin Mead. The Batman blockbuster, The Dark Knight, is out on DVD today. It is the second biggest moneymaker in the box office history with U.S. ticket sales over half a billion dollars. Unfortunately, none of the DVD versions offer um, a tribute to the late Heath Ledger. Some do break down how they shot six of the action scenes in IMAX. Of this court documents show that Michael Vick spent three and a half million dollars right before he went to jail. Rafer, he was buying stuff that you don't need in jail. No, no, and it was and it happened right after he was sentenced, Rob. And as soon as the sentence came down, the wallet opened up. Now he did give a lot of money to his family, but he also spent on some luxuries for himself, according to court documents filed in Vick's bankruptcy case. The day he went to jail, that day, bought a new Mercedes for ninety-nine thousand dollars, and get this. He spent 85 grand on a fish pond. Yep, $50,000 in landscaping. He withdrew over a quarter of a million dollars in cash and also gave 150 grand to each of his co-defendants for legal bills. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Um now, who's going to be there to make sure that the landscaping is done? <laughs> I don't know. The creditors have already taken back the Mercedes, though. Oh. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell spoke publicly about the Plaxico Burris situation. Goodell says the NFL has a strict gun policy forbidding players from carrying them on NFL property. And while players can have a gun for protection, the NFL strongly discourages players having them at all. And that is our text pro uh, poll. Now, Burris got such a huge reaction from our viewers. We want to know... Do you have a problem with NFL players carrying weapons? Now, Burris broke the law, but we're just talking in general here. Yes or no? HLN TV, 45688, Robin A for yes, Robin B for no. 
And here are the results so, uh, so far. Started this morning straight down the middle, but now 62% of you are saying, no, we don't have a problem. It's their right. Keep the votes coming. Great game of Monday Night Football. The Panthers hosting Tampa Bay. Both these teams were tied for first place in the NFC South. The Bucks were down by seven when Jeff Garcia hits Antonio Bryant here. Antonio Bryant had 200 yards receiving with two touchdowns, but it was not enough. The Panthers just ran all over him. D'Angelo Williams right here, 186 yards and two touchdowns for the day. Panthers win it 38-23, to and they have not lost at home. They improved the 10-3 and three and now lead their division and could uh, give Bob's Giants a run for their money. Lastly, the Wiggles wackiness. It's always from England. It's the Great Pudding Christmas Race. Bring us your figgy pudding. Now, they have to go through an obstacle course carrying with something that resembled pudding while being doused by foam and water. Now, the good news is the event helped raise $1.5 million for cancer research. That's a look at sports. Robin, you got nothing on that, huh? I'm just sitting there thinking, um, what is that pudding? Like, <laughs> I, what is figgy pudding? <laughs> I don't know. I never knew. <laughs> okay, thank you. I should research that. I don't think that. it's the Jell-O kind. I'm going to get right. our team on that right now. You, know, you may be among the many people tightening um, your budget this holiday season. Who's not? Personal finance expert Clark Howard helps millions of people every day with his popular radio show, and now he's helping you stretch your holiday dollar. This is the oddest time of year in the world to travel because it is feast or famine. I'm not talking about the buffet you're going to be served at grandma's. I'm talking about what you end up paying for travel because the calendar plays tricks on you this time of year. There are certain days during the Christmas, New Year's holiday period that the fares are through the roof, but the period is so long that there's day after day after day that the airlines are begging to have you. I mean, they are begging to have you as a customer. So one of the things you can do is Northwest, as an example, does a wonderful calendar you can look at, and it shows you the cheapest days, the most expensive days, and the days in between. Or Go simply to southwest.com, and if you live near a southwest city or in one, you can look at a calendar there. Or go to kayak.com, and you can see a whole month at a time of what specials are available for you. I'm Clark Howard, Headline News. You know, there is much more advice to come because Clark Howard is joining us at Headline News beginning January 3rd. The Clark Howard Show airs Saturdays and Sundays at noon. Clark will help you save more, spend less, and avoid getting ripped off. Breaking news right now. I'm going to bring you um, a little bit more on this. Would you look at this? In New Jersey, we have two boats on fire in Weehawken, New Jersey. Um, we don't have any more information other than what we are showing you. It makes me wonder if one fire started the other. Um, the fire on the left, the boat, okay, I'm being told right now by our producers that the boat on the left was on fire first. Now it's caught another boat right next door to it on fire at this point as well. Wow. Is that the adventure continues. Order Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull tonight. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa's brother is coming to town. Oh, holy, holy cow. Don't miss Fred Claus, now on demand. Hit movies without the trip to the video store. On demand with Comcast Digital Cable. It's a digital world, and Comcast can help you make the most of it. With advantages satellite and Verizon don't deliver. Access to over 1,000 HD programming choices and any room on demand. Our fastest internet with up to 60 megs of speed and unlimited nationwide calling. Save over 31% over Verizon. Bring your digital world to life. Call now to find out how much you can save with the Comcast Triple Play. Call 1-800-COMCAST. Rise and shine, my friend. It is 8 o'clock. Hello. It's good to have you with us. I'm Robin Mead, and here is what's going on newswise. It wasn't what I was expecting. I, just a few hours ago, it was pretty calm. You know, even if you're used to bad wintry weather, the conditions are starting to get treacherous, and Bob's going to tell you where those storms are headed. And... But I did actually see the jet spiral up just like at a Top Gun. 
Just like out of Top Gun, a fighter jet veers into a danger zone when the pilot lost control. Now, three people are dead, and when you hear more eyewitness accounts, you'll probably be amazed that it wasn't worse. Plus, Congress is working out details on a plan to loan $15 billion to Detroit Big Three, but not every lawmaker is on board, and the CEOs may not like the details either. All right, first, though, it is not officially winter yet, but don't tell that to people in the upper Midwest. The first snowstorm of the season hit parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin, causing big problems during the rush. The heavy snow tapered off, but still fell throughout the night. Bob is joining us now with a different kind of weather problem tornadoes. Hi, Bob. Yeah, good morning, Robin. We have to leave with this real quick because Louisiana is still tornado warning. It's this purple watch area right here, this purple warned area, and you see all the parishes that are located within that. Shreveport right here, it's to the southeast of there, and it's this thunderstorm complex that's just east of Ringgold, and it's moving to the northeast at about uh, 50 miles per hour. Notice a little notch in it right there. That's probably where the tornado is located. It's Doppler indicated. It hasn't been spotted yet, but that particular thunderstorm, real active with some twisting motion, so we're watching that. More shadow it's more thunderstorms moving in towards Little Rock, and it's going to be all rain changing the snow. That's what Robin's talking about for Wisconsin and Michigan. Talk about that, Robin, in just a couple minutes. Okay, thank you. Right. At least three people are dead after a fighter jet crashed into a San Diego neighborhood yesterday afternoon. Two homes were destroyed. One person, believed to be in one of the houses, is still missing. The Marine Corps says that the pilot reported having trouble. As he returned from a Navy carrier offshore, he ejected shortly before the crash. He did whatever he could to try to prevent uh, the actual crash, but he had to eject, and then once the pilot ejects, the, the plane kind of just takes its course. I was out taking my trash cans in, and I saw the plane come in low. I think I saw the pilot eject. I heard some funny noises, and then I heard it hit and explode, and that's all, and a big fireball. Well, one witness spoke to the pilot right after the crash. She says that he was not hurt and was incredibly composed considering what had just happened. The big three automakers could get the $15 billion that they need by next Monday. Now, that is if Congress votes on the Democrats' bill soon, and that could happen tomorrow. Now, the White House is reviewing their proposal now. The money would come from funds designated to help the auto industry produce more fuel-efficient cars. Any assistance from Congress would hold the auto industry accountable to essential reforms from day one. And it would include enforcement capabilities, including strict, immediate accountability and oversight. This is no blank check or blind hope. If the companies fail to develop a plan that will lead to long-term competitiveness and profitability, if they fail to stick to that plan, the loan can be recalled. Well, in exchange for the money, car companies would be barred from paying dividends to their shareholders or bonuses to their top execs. They would also be required to get rid of those corporate jets. Now, the proposed plan includes naming a car chief to oversee the auto bailout loans. That government-appointed official would have big powers to restructure the auto industry. Well, that's not a small bill. Correspondent Richard Louis, what exactly would they do or could they do? Yeah, good morning to you, Robin. One thing police your taxpayer money first. The chief would hammer out rules for loaning money to these car makers by January 1st. Then he or she would keep tabs on how that money is spent. If automakers, for instance, want to make a transaction of $25 million or more, the chief has to give the okie dokie there. Plus, if the chief believes an automaker is not doing what is best to become viable, he or she may cancel that loan. Basically, a chief with a little bit of teeth here. Sounds like it. You know, some Democrats are pushing the name Kenneth Feinberg to be that car chief. What do we know about him? Yeah, you know, he's used to difficult compensation deals because of his work on the September 11th Victims Compensation Fund. And that experience here, Robin, will be needed as car chief because auto unions and car makers have fiercely tussled over salaries and benefits for decades, as you know. And when it comes to sensitive, politically charged tasks, Feinberg has credibility there, too. Political.com reporting he allocated damages to Holocaust survivors, Agent Orange victims, and more. And certainly this uh, bailout loan program will be politically sensitive. So experienced in sensitive cases. Thank you so much, Richard. Business is booming for secondhand stores. USA Today reports that sales at resale and thrift shops were up by as much as 35% in September and October. People are also heading to eBay and flea markets looking for bargains. Authorities in Greece fear that they could 
could have more violence like this coming. Riots have been going on since Saturday when police shot a 15-year-old boy. Things have been calm so far today, but the boy's funeral is set to begin this hour. Police say that 12 officers have been injured and dozens of protesters were arrested. Two officers have been charged in that shooting. President-elect Barack Obama's approval rating is more than 50 points higher than that of President Bush. And, um... He's not even in office yet. A CNN opinion research survey just out this morning finds that 79% of people approve of how President-elect Obama is handling the transition to power, and 76% have a favorable opinion of him. Six minutes past the hour, there is a point in weather when you've got rain on one side and then you have winter on the other side. Mm -hmm. What's in between, that's the treacherous area, right, Bob? Yeah, you would call that that, the freezing rain spot, the sleet, yeah, that's always tough to travel on. So rain, you know what you have, snow, you know what you have. When it's icing like it is in some areas of lower Wisconsin in towards Iowa, that's always a problem. But that's the cold side. Where's the warm side where all this heavy rain and thunderstorm action is coming in, mainly out of southeastern Missouri in towards Illinois, Indiana, out of Kentucky. Here's St. Louis. So you're drying out right now. You had some heavy rain over you just about an hour ago. Take you live to your tower cam, show you what it looks like in St. Louis. Your temperature in the low 50s. A little breaks in the action right now. I think you'll see more rain pockets move in later this morning into the afternoon. And your temperatures by this afternoon's commute falling down to about 40. So here comes your cold front. Here comes your cold air. Back to the maps. The real heart of the cold air still across the upper Midwest. Check out Wisconsin. Heavy snow over you right now. Now moving over the Great Lakes in towards Michigan. Six to ten inches of snow for central Michigan, about four to nine for central Wisconsin. And then that snow goes all the way down to the four corners. Yeah, you got you. Warnings right there. More details, Rob, just about a half an hour. Six to 14 inches. Yeah, they're used to it, but uh, not easy to drive on, no doubt. Okay. It is um, 8.07, and play is underway right now in the Morning Express Challenge. This is our online interactive quiz game. Testing your smarts is based on what you're seeing right here. So you watch it here, you go to your computer there, and um, we will chat with you in the commercial, every single one of us on this show. Maybe not Richard, sometimes he's not very um, chat friendly. <laughs> CNN.com slash Robin for the details. All right, laid off workers have been protesting in eight hour shifts nonstop since Friday, but will they ever get what they say they deserve? I'm teasing, Richard is very nice. Okay, let's get started. Tom, how are we doing? Well, uh, at FedEx office, ground shipping rates are less than at the UPS store, which has substantially reduced overhead. And uh, with the savings, we were able to buy these massage chairs. Everybody likes a good massage. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, uh, right there. Ooh. Relax, it's FedEx. Thanks to Walmart, I bought my children new Christmas Eve pajamas to sleep in. With unbeatable prices on their favorite character PJs, Christmas costs less at Walmart. Save money. Live better. Walmart. Introducing Immugo, immune support on the go. Immugo helps support a healthy immune system and boosts energy. Immugo, twist off cap and drink. Immugo, Hollywood's secret for immune support and energy. Immugo, the official immune support product of the Hollywood Movie Awards. One for a man in a little van. Get there with these hair in the breeze. One for commuter on motor scooter. Rolls down a hill, bugs in her grill. One for the sport where all the shots are very tight. Made for a bike. One, One for, for a nun. Out for, for a run. Risk keeps a law. What she has job. One for a Viking. Out for some hacking. Find the village. He will pillage. Find what you want. Find what you wish. There's even one to find the fish. Give a, give a, give a, give a garment. Find something fun for everyone. Did you know Universal Studios Japan uses facial recognition technology to secure entry to the park? Did you know biometrics identification offers South African citizens safe access to public services? Did you know Daiwa Security safeguards data with virtual PCs and centralized servers? NEC, a $46 billion global IT and networking company, can provide security solutions like these and more. Watch online TV at NEC.com. NEC. In our salute to the troops, today's salute is from a wife who is missing her husband, but she says she knows that he's missing her and their seven-month-old daughter. Hi, Robin. This salute goes out to First Lieutenant Freddie Rios, stationed in Iraq. We love and miss you, honey, 
and we can't wait for you to come home. Um, I know it's going to be hard for you while you're gone on Landon's first Christmas since she's only seven months old. But we're thinking of you, we're praying for you, and we know God will bring you back safe to us. We love you and we miss you. Kisses and hugs. True love waits. Oh, did you notice the baby's uh, little daddy doll that she had beside her? Do you have somebody in the service? We're just saying thank you so much for the job you do. Go to CNN.com slash Robin. The president-elect gets a high-profile visitor today. Former VP Al Gore is headed to Chicago. And technology to secure entry to the park. Did you know biometrics identification offers South African citizens safe access to public services? Did you know Daiwa Security safeguards data with virtual PCs and centralized servers? NEC, a $46 billion global IT and networking company, can provide security solutions like these and more. Watch online TV at NEC.com. NEC. In our salute to the troops, today's salute is from a wife who is missing her husband, but she says she knows that he's missing her and their seven-month-old daughter. Hi, Robin. This salute goes out to First Lieutenant Freddie Rio, stationed in Iraq. We love and miss you, honey, and we can't wait for you to come home. Um, I know it's going to be hard for you while you're gone on Landon's first Christmas since she's only seven months old. But we're thinking of you, we're praying for you, and we know God will bring you back safe to us. We love you and we miss you. Kisses and hugs. True love wait. Oh, did you notice the baby's uh, little daddy doll that she had beside her? Do you have somebody in the service? We're just saying thank you so much for the job you do. Go to CNN.com slash Robin. The president-elect gets a high-profile visitor today. Former VP Al Gore is headed to Chicago. Now, Barack Obama's transition team says the meeting will focus on energy and environmental issues. Insiders do not expect Gore to have a position in the administration, but Obama has said that he'd welcome Gore as an informal advisor on climate change issues. Issues. We could see the factory sit-in in Chicago come to an end today. Representatives for the laid-off workers, the company, and Bank of America will meet. Now, the workers say that they only got three days' notice after Bank of America cut off credit to the company. By law, they're required to get 60 days' notice or 60 days' pay. We, the state of Illinois, will suspend doing any business with the Bank of, uh, of America, and we hope that this kind of leverage and pressure will encourage the Bank of America to do the right thing for this business so these workers can keep their jobs. Now, Bank of America says it is not responsible for any commitments made by the company. You know, you're going to be glad to know that job cuts are not happening everywhere. Some industries are actually hiring. Our money expert, Jennifer Westhoven, the word that you want to hear. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, so just last month, Friday, we were talking about how the economy lost more than half a million jobs. But even in the worst recession in decades, some areas are hiring. So first, the where by industry. Healthcare added 34,000 jobs last month. Not just doctors and nurses, but accountants and finance as well.